Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can share specific Google Earth views with your students and use those views to create assignments in Google Classroom. Let's go ahead and take a look here at my Google Earth. Now you can see I'm fairly zoomed out and I want to zoom in a little bit on this lighthouse because I'm going to create an assignment based around this lighthouse here. So there's my there's a lighthouse and we can even switch it into the 2D view and get a different angle on that lighthouse. So I'm going to freeze it right about here and say that that's the view that I want to use. So I'm going to use this view right here. Now, I'm going to just copy this link that's up here at the top, and I'm now going to put that into Google Classroom. Here's my demo Google Class. I'm going to create a new assignment. I'm going to say, take a look at this lighthouse. Now, I've already written up some questions and directions here. I'm just going to paste those in. Now, obviously, I already had this written in a Google document, so I could just attach the Google Doc here, but it's a short assignment, so I'm just going to write out my questions right here. And now I'm going to put in my link. And so there's my link once again. Let's put in my link here. Add that in. And we can even see here in the URL that it's the Portland Head Lighthouse in Cape Elizabeth, Maine. And let's give this thing a due date. Let's say it's due tomorrow. And I'm going to assign it to my class. Next, we're going to take a look at how the students will view this and complete the assignment. So my student account here, my student demo, is going to see that there's a new assignment there, can click the link. And when they click the link, they're going to go to the exact same place that I was looking at and here it is they're looking at the lighthouse now it's taking a second to render but there it is there's the lighthouse for them to look at and they can then answer these questions so to answer the questions well they could just do this go over here click add or create and they're going to create a little document where they'll then answer these questions. Let's allow that to happen. And there's a little document. And so Mason, who's looking at this assignment of take a look at this lighthouse is now going to answer the questions. And so he's gonna say, you know, I noticed that the rocks look sharp but there's a couple other questions here that are a little trickier right what do you notice about the construction of the lighthouse well in this case if he wants to get a little bit more information about the construction of the lighthouse he's going to need to use the little peg man tool and you notice in this as he drags it over he can see these little dots and those little dots represent street level imagery. And now take a look at the lighthouse in more detail and might say something like the sides aren't as smooth as I am as I thought they would be. And then that third question Looking at our third question, find another lighthouse along the coast of Maine. How close is it to this one? Well, in this case, our students need to exit out of Street View. And they're going to have to go looking for lighthouses. So where else can they find a lighthouse in Maine? Well, they're going to find one over here on Castle Rock. And they can do a little, draw, a little measuring. And they can use that little measuring tool right here. Let's do a starting point and 
There they go. Now it's measuring in meters. My students are probably not going to want to measure in meters. So we'll change it up. And we're going to measure this one here, perhaps in miles. And we'll see it's about 8 tenths of a mile away. So Mason's now going to fill that in. It's about 0.81 miles to the next closest one. And now he's ready to turn it in. So that's how you can share specific Google Earth views with your students and create assignments based on those views in Google Classroom. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.